Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to install and use the Panorama Viewer plugin on your WordPress site. We'll be using the pro version of the plugin for this demo, but I'll also show you how to install the free version of the plugin. Let's get started. First, go to the plugins menu and click on Add Plugin. In the search bar at the top, type Panorama. Click on the Install Now button, and once it's installed, click Activate. Your plugin is now activated, and you'll find Panorama Viewer in the sidebar menu. Let's see how to generate a short code and use it. Go to Panorama Viewer, add new, click on Upload Image, and select a 360 degree image. Now click Save, and a short code will be automatically generated. Click the short code to copy it, then go to Pages, add new page, give the page a title. Now paste the copied short code into the content area. Click Publish, then View Page, and you'll see your panoramic image beautifully displayed using the short code. Now let's explore how the plugin works with Gutenberg Block Editor. Go to Pages, Add New, give the page a title, and click the plus icon to search for the Panorama Viewer block. Once you find it, click to insert it. You'll see a nice block interface, and within it, several different block types. Let's explore the Image 3D block. Click on the Image 3D block, click Upload, and choose a 360-degree image. The Hide Default control lets you hide the built-in controls from the viewer. Click Publish, then view the page. Yes, the Image 3D block is working perfectly. Let's explore the Image 360-degree block. Just like before, select the Image 360 degrees block. Click on Upload Image and select a 360 degree image. You'll see many option buttons appear. You can use these options to enable or disable features as you prefer. I highly encourage you to try this plugin yourself after the video ends. Click Save and you'll see your custom settings, such as default controller, compass, and author name, all reflected properly. Let's explore the video block. Click the video block to open a new page. Now upload a 360-degree video. You'll see the video displayed right inside the editor block, along with many customization options. Using the option buttons, you can control sound, playback bar, full screen mode, and more. Click Save, then preview the page. And yes, it's working perfectly. You can easily control the video and enable or disable various features. There are a total of eight sub-blocks available under this block. We encourage you to explore each of them. To keep this tutorial short, I will be skipping them for now. Let's explore the 360-degree virtual tour. From the Panorama Viewer menu, click on the 360-degree virtual tour option. Then click the Add New Tour button. In the Title field, write a title. After that, click the Upload button and select 360 degree image. Now, click anywhere on the image where you want to add a link or hotspot. A pop-up will appear. From there, click Info and give the hotspot a name, something that helps you identify that particular spot. Finally, click Save. You can repeat this process to add more hotspots and name them accordingly. Later on, you can easily navigate to those spots using their names. Click Add New Scene to upload another 360-degree image just like before. Then add a link or hotspot, just like we did in the previous scene, so you can find them easily. This time, instead of selecting Info, click on Scene, then choose the Target option. You can also give it a label so users know what they're clicking on. Let's check if everything works. Oh yes, it's working just fine. You can also add a target point from this image, linking it back to a specific spot in the previous image. This lets the viewer choose where to go next. It's working perfectly. Download Panorama Viewer and start creating immersive experiences today. For more awesome plugins, visit www.bplugins.com. Thanks for watching.